everybody and welcome back to Ages with Hayu. <laughs> welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. I'm probably, I hope you can see me because I'm wearing um, my Burberry, uh, what are these called? Conductor hats? or it's a very very hat that's all i know so you can't see my face that much but it is a segue into what the videos are about today videos well they are because they little short clips so videos it's all about hats that i have that i styled up for you it is one of the accessories you got to be big on accessories okay because accessories make a plain outfit look great so i'm just going to style up just um some hats i'm not putting on any outfits um i'm filming it in my other bathroom so i know the background is different and like i said i know you can't see me guys but the point is it's all about the hat and this is a definitely a fall winter hat it is made of cashmere so it keeps your hair warm so if you got a bald head like me and you want to put a hat on here you go okay here you go and you can spruce it up however you want i have on this black bodysuit because most of the things that i'm gonna show you i'm gonna just have the black on so it's like a background so would i wear this with a black bodysuit probably not but it i can you can wear what you want and I put it on with these earrings and yes, they are bold and pretty and a peach. So it kind of goes with the actual hat, but let's get started. So my first hat that I'm showing you here is this hat I got from Amazon. So you already see me styling the hat. This is a dupe for something. You look it up for yourself, but it starts with our RV. <laughs> but it is a dupe. And um, like I said, it's on Amazon. Um, I would, of course, put the picture so you can look it up. Uh, what I like about this hat is its versatility, honey. You can throw this on with the most basic outfit and run to the store. And it is just so cute. It's embellished. It's all over the place. And I love that. And I styled it up with silver. So you see, I'm not going to show you everything I styled it with. But um, I am going to show you some things. So I styled it up with silver. And this bracelet, which you have seen me, if you watched any of my videos. If not, I got this from a consignment store. I just love the fact that it has a jewel so it's not just a simple just a simple bracelet and I styled it up with this herringbone silver bracelet that I have that I got from H&H &H a long time ago and this ring which I also got from a thrift store so I want to show you some things up close and I just love that uh that jewel that purple jewel that's in the middle and with my silver butter what do you call it bow tie uh chandelier earrings so you can spruce it up even more you can be basic but you just throw that on with an earring and it will level up any outfit on to the next so this next um this i'm trying to keep everything about the child so i can be organized i can't function without being organized so what y'all been looking at you know i'm gonna talk about something so i went to see black panther i'm not gonna spoil it for you but i'm gonna tell you my take on the new black panther it is a segue of a new thing that's gonna happen with Wakanda, but also giving us time to grieve and end what was. That's all I'm gonna say. It is a mourning period. 
you'll know what I'm talking about. But absolutely go see it, of course. Okay, so this is a vintage hat. I got this from a live sale. And I know you're thinking, uh, would that be something that I would wear? I think it's called some type of sailor cap. I'm not sure what it is, honey. I loved it. And what I love about it is this embellishment that's right there. And it's against the cream. So I just fell in love with that. And I wore it with, again, some silver. I have my Hermes. Hermes. Let me make sure I say it right. Not Hermes with the H. Hermes. Click clack bracelet. And with my, um, my diamond uh, bracelet as well. Then I put it on with just some basic black hoops. Okay, so those were the only two that I didn't have some type of shades or something to go with it. So the next one is this last thing that I've gotten recently. Not the last look, just the last thing I've gotten recently. It's this vintage from Kangol. Um, and it is, like I said, vintage. Um, so it's uh, definitely a winter red hat. The fur, I wore this to a game and I was sweating. My head was sweating so bad. I didn't think that this was going to be hot, but it is. But you see, I'm styling it here with my favorite Prada shades. And what I love about these Prada shades is the black and white detail, which you know, you this with some red, this with a lot of things is wonderful. And then I have on these uh, black and white Aldo earrings. Let me tell you something. I've gotten my earrings from Aldo shoes and they last. I'm telling you, their shoes and jewelry, something ain't right. That stuff be lasting. For real though. Is this Shein bucket hat. <sighs> Look at this bucket hat. I just love the colors. This is nothing but fall and winter. That's all this is. This I just adore. And it is so cute. So I got this from Shein. And of course I got the little bag to match I just love this little bag it's it's tiny it's cute and of course to wear it with that and just a plain outfit like some jeans and a little white button down and let the bag and the the hat do all the talking nothing special nothing expensive that's the point and I wore it with these off-white dupes. If you look at the new off-white glasses, they have the little uh, cutouts in it. Amazon! I wore these little red dupes here. Look at this. Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. It's something for everybody. So I hope you find something that you like. On with the next. Okay, so my next bucket hat is my, I call it the cow hat, because it's got that cow brown and white look to it. And um, I styled that with African print. So you saw me with this necklace that I got from a live sale, and I just love the brown and all the little shells and all the pretty uh african design in it and it's got the horn on it and it's beaded this is just such a nice different necklace and of course the earrings i got these horn earrings from a a little uh african shop handmade of um at a big thrift flea market and it just looks so nice and it, to me it elevated the hat and of course the hat came from Shein 
and I wore this bracelet. The thing is this, guys. If you want to try something and you don't want to spend a lot of money for it, because I can guarantee you everything that I'm showing you, you can see somewhere else more expensive. Okay, and the last thing is my bucket hat from Gucci. My Gucci uh, bucket hat. When This is definitely something I'm pulling out every fall and winter. And if you look there, you it's called the pineapple bucket hat. And you will see the word Gucci there. So, um, and look at all the rich, beautiful colors and design in this bucket hat. And it's on the backdrop of the, like a teal green. I, this not going nowhere. Do you understand me? Not going nowhere. And I paired that, of course, you see with a lot of gold. My glasses is my Versace glasses. Um, and I just love these glasses. They can be fall, summer, winter. It don't matter. And it's the color of this rich, beautiful gold and brown. So I styled that with that and with one of my um, vintage rings. I just love this ring. This I got from a consignment store as well. Also, I paired it with these gold hoops. Because I want the ring. I want the ring. I want the hat to just do everything. Everything is about the hat. And for earrings, I put on my Gucci earrings. They are simple, not big, but they are just some beautiful pair of earrings. So that is how I style some of my hats, guys. So if you are into hats, bucket hats, the the sailor boy hats, whatever, uh, give me a like and a thumbs up for right, well, my devotion at the end of the video. For those who do not want to stick around, that's fine. But those who do, thank you. We can share this word together. Okay, so I put my glasses on. You know I need them. All right, so. What is the verse for the day? Well, it's Psalm 118, 17. I will not die, but live and will proclaim what the Lord has done. And so the actual topic is called today. Living for right now, living for today. You know, uh, when you look at the news and you see all the bad stuff that's going on and you say, oh, this world is, of course, going somewhere in a handbasket. You still say, you know what? But I'm so glad to be alive today at this moment. I'm happy for what the Lord has done for me and gave me this day. So what does it say? The conditions Psalm 118 were written in very bleak times. The psalmist shared about the destitution of his positions with enemies surrounding him and feeling as if he were about to fall. He still wrote that he he was glad and rejoiced. Joy is a choice. So all the stuff that's happening right now, all the things that's going on in your life or minds, all the things that is going bad. Find that joy. Find that what is good. What's happening right now that I am glad for. Sometimes if you look at TikTok, do you see all of the videos we see now of people that are maimed or disabilities or just the bad stuff that's happened to them and they trying to show it, they trying to connect and you see those type of things and you be glad that you have your arms, your legs. You can see, you can hear, you can talk. It's so many things to be grateful for. That has nothing to do with material things. And you know my channel is all about fashion, looking good over 50, looking good, loving yourself. It's all about that. But the things that I am grateful for is the everyday life I am living right now. 
By his grace and faithfulness, the Lord has created every day. This alone is reason to thank him and to rejoice. The days belong to the Lord, whether they are full of happiness or travesty. We can choose to be grateful and glad, regardless of what we have to face. I'm grateful. What about you? All right, guys. Thank you for joining and um, joining me for today's video. A little different. I'm showing you hats. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. All the things. <laughs>